Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Software Engineer K here, happy Friday, and we've got some interesting stuff to get through today. Now, we know that the market is on a dip, I'm going to help reassure you guys as to why this is only temporary, um, with some proper fundamental data, not just telling you guys to, you know, hodl. And we're also going to be looking at a few questions I've been asked as well from the VV community regarding um, the locked up tokens for the founders, um, because they are getting quite a lot of or billions worth of OMI being released to them and people are worried and I'm just going to help answer some, a few of those questions regarding that as well um, and I am going to touch on a few other um, posts I've been requested to cover um, sp specifically regarding the patent that was filed by Vivi in the US and a couple of you know hints that we received from that and adding on to how those are related to the Ultraman drop so um, we will also wrap up with just a few words from Logan Paul, where, and I don't re really agree on Logan Paul with too many things, but I do agree with him on in terms of Ecomi and obviously our price analysis. So um, we know that as of today, um, the number of users on the VV app has broken 250,000. Now, I believe it was only just about a month ago, um, they were barely on 10,000 users. Um, that just goes to show that the number of users has grown exponentially and it is going to continue doing so as they gain more and more brands and licenses, as they get more celebrity endorsements. And I think, you know, Vivi has done everything the correct way. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by that in a second. But firstly, what I want to do is touch on something on, that I received on Telegram. And this is a post. So um reese from ecomi he was asked about the locked up token so the founders of vv they obviously had quite a large share of the equity in it because you know they are the ones who founded it and they received a large chunk of the um total supply of omi tokens and this was locked up for a year while still working the project and now they've received it and you know there are people who are absolutely like you know going mental over it because they you know fair enough not everyone understands you know how equity and all of this stuff works now you know uh da, 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 is there around 1.5 billions on may the 9th more than yeah reese said that you know there's more than that but basically the founders they received the tokens and the reason why i am not worried about is perfectly fine is firstly cryptocurrency is an unregulated market usually founders don't even lock up their tokens the ecomi team did this voluntarily just to show you guys that you know if you're an early stage investor to have faith in them because they're not gonna you know pump and dump you know it's not an exit scheme it's a legitimate project and it, you know the fact that they have all these brands and licenses and people like alfred khan on the team that should already tell you it's a legitimate project but they just voluntarily decide to lock up their tokens it's an unregulated market they don't have to do that if you look at stocks and equities okay i'll use tesla as an example because it's one of my favorite examples elon musk he had his tesla shares locked up he's got tons of tesla shares um any other company the founder of the company will probably have equity in that company that's just how companies work it is just how you know the financial world works so i don't know why people are getting upset over the fact that oh my god the founders of ecomi have a lot of omi tokens obviously they do um now Yes, that risk exists that they could choose to sell their OMI tokens, but you know that risk has always existed for every single asset out there. You know Tesla, okay, because equities are a regulated market. The founders, you know, the CEOs, they can't dump their Tesla shares. You know, they have to meet certain uh, strategic financial requirements. But that risk does also exist. Elon Musk could dump his all of the Tesla shares that he currently owns today, but that is not helping them, and. These guys, they've been working for pretty much for free for the past four years. You know, that's just how startups work. You don't work for money because you have no money. You're putting your money, you're reinvesting your time into the startup so that it can grow. And with the equity that you have, you're hoping that equity will be worth something so that you can then use that cash flow to finance, you know, further growth and obviously pay for your livelihood. So, yes, um, you know, the founders, they have these tokens, but will they sell them off? No, they won't because it's counterproductive that is against their own interests so i wouldn't be worried and if you are worried then you know go have a look at other companies because you're going to you're going to see that they do the exact same thing so first piece of fud disproved you know don't worry about it 
next is I've come I've come back to this document. So um, the United States patented the trademark office. Um, VV obviously they had to file for their trademark and patents and everything. So this is all here. And I just want to come back to this for a second um, because I believe that there is some stuff that you guys were interested in seeing. So if I go to here, the specimen, this was a specimen that they submitted to the US um, patent office and pretty sure you guys can see something quite interesting on this straight away. Anyone got it? Okay, well, it's pretty much plastered there, Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame. And then they've also got Ant-Man there on the drop, so I'll just zoom into that. So this is what was filed. Oh, and also brands. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'll zoom in a bit more. But that is the Hulk. That's the Marvel kind of cinematic logo. Um, oh, in the corner there, it's Captain America. I actually didn't spot that until now. Um, now, there was tons of like Marvel stuff. Um, if I have a look back at the video that I did on the APK files with the Captain America. Now, there is a lot of speculation going around with Marvels. There's been a lot of leaks that people have uncovered this. But I think it is important to know that this is also linked to another little piece that I've been requested to cover, and that is the Ultra Rare in Rise of Ultraman. So the artist for this, Olivia Coipel, um, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but... Um, artist that covered uh, an issue with Marvel um, Marvel Spider-Man. So this ultra rare, this um, description of this, I believe, and everyone else has kind of alluded to this, it should be this issue here. So we have the rise of Ultraman and Spider-Man sitting on his shoulder, and that's exactly what is described here. So Spidey does not appear in this issue and there are no plans. Da, 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 da. Where was it? Yes, with Spider-Man sitting on the shoulder of his newest neighbor in the Marvel Comics line, Ultraman himself. And that is exactly what we have here. So that is um, most likely going to be the Ultra Ray that we're going to get. And it's going to be our teaser for Marvel. Well, another teaser. Um, and that is partly also why I'm not worried about Ecomi. So without further ado, I do want to go into um, the recent price movement, price analysis. Now, firstly, stop focusing on the price. Like, you just stop looking at it. Because the, what you should be focused on Firstly, prices aren't comparable between cryptocurrencies. You don't really use price. Ideally, you would use market cap because market cap tells you the total amount of money that's kind of sat in this project. And VV, or oh, yeah, um, the market cap of Ecomi, you know, started off around about 1.6, 1.7 billion when they first listed it on coin market cap. And it went up to about 2 billion and now it's sat back below 1 billion. Now, this just goes to show if it's below. So my policy is if it's below 1 billion and it's a legitimate project, it's going to go up. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's below 1 billion market cap, which is absolutely tiny and it's legit, it's going to go up. All the projects that, you know, were sat above 1 billion that never really truly recovered, they weren't truly legitimate projects in my view. And I have certain criteria for legitimate projects. Specifically, um, the team has to be legitimate. It has to have a use case. It has to have an actual working product. There are loads of projects out there that actually fu raise funds. They raise over a billion uh, dollars worth in market cap, but they don't actually have a product. It's They raise the funds to build the product, which is all speculative. So the fact that Vivi spent their time, you know, for four years developing that product, getting to market then, you know, raised all this funding is legitimate and you know you don't have to you know doubt the fact that they are legit you know the apps on your phone you can see the brands and licenses it's all there now moving on to the short-term price movement now ecomi is ready to pop off and this is just something i want to show you guys so um when i do trade um stocks and crypto as well um, one of my favorite patterns that I look that I tend to like look at are wedges. And I'm just going to show you guys if I zoom in, if I maximize this actually, so it's better. I zoom in a bit. Now, what I'm going to do is just draw a trend line here. Let's change the color of that to blue, like blue. Now, we can see that we are forming actually a very, very nice wedge here. And a second trend line just like so these will touch just about okay now what's happening is the bid and ask price was fairly wide we had a huge sell-off you know we've had and we had huge buys over here now the bid and ask has been closing and around about here the price is going to move one way it's either going to dump all the way down or 
it's going to pop off and you know probably come up to this level over here now what i believe is going to happen is it is going to pop off and that is partly because all of the rumors that were causing the price to go down can easily be disproved now firstly we had joe biden raising capital gains taxes that's only really going to affect you if you have made stupid amounts of crypto taxes on crypto and it's only a marginal amount it's really the institutions that it's going to affect and the institutional effect uh, investors are overhyping this you know they're creating a lot of fud and just to show you guys what's actually happening in the background and this goes to everyone who is selling you know in the last 24 hours grayscale they've bought 1 billion bitcoin those of you who are not institutional investors that were selling you know your bitcoin ethereum whatever these guys have just bought it the guys that are telling you that you know it's a bubble it's the price is going to go down you're going to enter a bear market they are buying whilst your guys are selling because this has been happening since you know the start of time jp morgan is probably one of the biggest examples they were talking about how bitcoin was a scam it was a bubble back in 2017 i was there around at the time because i was also buying ethereum bitcoin and at the same time they were actually buying it and it's ridiculous how many people you know they fall for this fud so why am i not worried about omi they've got the growth potential they're not listed on any decent exchanges any project that gets listed on you know a decent exchange when they're below one billion market cap they will pop off um they've got working product they've got so many things coming out you know the big announcement they've got um staking coming they've got master collector program um they've got so many unreleased brands and licenses um who was it i believe it was reese yeah reese um when he did the talk on dr dgen's um stream he said that the brands they've released so far are the smaller brands they're saving the bigger ones for when the app is more um, robust and we know, you know, there's stuff coming because the guys have a track record. And, you know, I have complete faith that with all of these factors taken into consideration, OMI is probably one of the safest investments out there, in my opinion. Um, whether you invest on it or not, you know, that's your choice. But for me, it is one of my safer investments just because they have all of these factors that are in their favor, regardless of if we go into a bear market or not. Now, Lastly, I did want to also share with you guys the Logan Paul video. So just take a look at this. Right. Like I think that hype can be found around secular items, but it's 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 pushed away when you make it very versatile. And they have all these brands. OMI, I think, is like another one. Bro, bro. Fuck. Am what I good? Are you, what are you saying? You're, you have the same <laughs> weird little coins that no one's ever heard of yet as me. Yes, you, go. Got, you have Omi? Yeah, bro. Shut the fuck up. I, I want a bunch of that because yeah. I like that huh. one. Huh. Pokemon. Y'all definitely, yeah, definitely talked about this. <laughs> no, no I swear, I, on That's my so kids. Because I, I got in on Omi. And then I saw some stuff that I liked a little bit better, so I got out. But I probably, now that you said it, You're, I'll yo, probably get back yo, in. Yo, Omi, Omi, this is not financial advice. You know, you know what Omi is at right now, right? It's like fractions. It's hundreds Dog, of a it's penny. Point oh oh three. This is this. They didn't pay me to do this. They should. I'll reach out to them. But we'll take free it, coins. It's, it's, it's like a it's like a fraction of a cent of a cent. Yep. That's the coin that should the infrastructure and the model pop in the way that I think it will, uh, yep. because it's based on the VV NFTs. Yep. Who has IP out the fucking ass? Because that's where I think this NFT. I do believe it is a little bit of a bubble right now, yep. but I believe the ones that will power through will be based around IP. Correct. IP. Yep. And the ones they have are crazy. So like I said, there's not a lot that I do agree on with Logan Paul, but I definitely agree on his view with Omi. So that is good to know that, you know, we have a really, really big influencer who shares the exact same view as a lot of us do with Omi and its longevity because it is a project that is not going to die. It's they've already established way too much. They've kind of gotten past the riskiest part of their business. So now from here, it's literally, you know, growth. So I am very, very positive. Now, as always, guys, please do like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys with any updates I have in the future, which should be tomorrow. So see you guys then. Have a good day and I'll catch you next time. See ya.